Donald A. Norman, Emotional Design, Why We Love or Hate Everyday Things. Welcome to this Big Idea Blink. For this type of blink, our editors choose one thought-provoking insight from a book so you can learn something new within just a few minutes. This time, the idea we'd like to talk about is that even seemingly simple choices, like selecting a bottled water brand, are influenced by complex thought processes. We often underestimate the impact that design has on our decision-making. Let's dive in. The Tri-Level Approach to Product Design Selecting a bottled water brand at a supermarket might appear as a trivial choice, Yet, our underlying thought processes are often more complex. This complexity becomes clearer when we analyze our perception, interpretation, and interaction with products through three key design levels, visceral, behavioral, and reflective. At the visceral level, our choices are driven by initial appearances and instinctive reactions. This level taps into our innate preferences for certain colors, shapes, or designs. For example, a toddler might be drawn to the bright colors on toy packaging. This principle extends beyond toys, as seen in the business world with brands like Apple. Apple's introduction of vibrantly colored Mac computers was a success not just because of the technology, but due to the appealing aesthetics, attracting consumers at first glance. However, a good first impression isn't enough. The behavioral design level comes into play, focusing on the user's interaction with the product. It's not just about how good the product looks, but how well it functions. For instance, a visually appealing potato peeler must also effectively peel potatoes. This level involves usability, ease of operation, and the satisfaction of using the product. Products should be intuitive and accessible to all, including those with physical or sensory limitations. The physical feel of a product like the build quality of Apple devices or the responsiveness of their keyboards, also falls under this level. Finally, there's the reflective design level, which goes beyond immediate use to encompass cultural significance and personal expression. Products at this level tell a story or help express individuality. Watches, once purely functional, have become fashion statements, reflecting the user's style and status. This level influences our purchases based on what these products say about us. It also contributes to the product's lasting impact, shaping how we nostalgically remember and proudly display it, and even how we recommend it to others.